name is Francis Morales, Secretary General of Panalipan Southern Mindanao. Panalipan is an alliance of organizations and individuals united in the defense of our environment. Today is the 8th of June, is the 11th anniversary of the passing of the Electric Power Industry Reform Act or Republic Act 9136. Today we are condemning the enactment of this law and we are holding rallies and uh, condemnation because the result or the effect of the imperial for the past 11 years has been detrimental to the ordinary Filipino people and to the sources of our energy, our water systems, our water sources, our rivers. Dito sa Mindanao, ang mga ang isa sa pinaka ma, na uh, threatened na magiging ma-privatize dahil sa Ipira Law ay ang Agus Pulangi Hydropower Complex natin. Sa Mindanao, medyo mas mababa ang ating singil ng kuryente dahil sa ang Agus Pulangi Hydro Complex ay nasa pagmay-may-ari pa ng gobyerno. Hello, welcome back to Philippines Uncut. I'm your host, Buddy Kunanan, and tonight's topic is Quezon City, Boon or Bane. Now, that very interesting uh, video you saw about the Ipira law, uh, we will so you'll soon find out why we are tying it in with the tonight's show on Quezon City. Now, be before we go there, welcome again, Hans. Welcome, Andy, to our second segment. Let's talk about all that money being thrown around dito sa Quezon City. Daming ang pero umiikot at sabi ka natin, saan napupunta? And uh, yung Quezon City, despite the fact that yung mga elected officials get 59.1% of the, of the budget as pork barrel directly to them, bakit na squatter capital pa rin ang Quezon City ng buong bayan natin? So, Andy, I have a question. Um, kung ito yung sitwasyon sa Quezon City, okay, walang nangyayari, as you guys claim, walang nangyayari, squatter capital, homeless uh, people, their, their places being demolished, bakit walang uproar mula sa Quezon City? Bakit, bakit as you said, nine years sa si Belmonte dyan, si Bautista, three years, and he'll probably be elected uh, uh, on election day, re-elected. Re Bakit walang uproar? Saan nga galing yung galit? Eh, kasi ako, hindi ako, hindi ako taga Quezon City, nagagalit ako eh. Well, uh, a lot of blood <laughs> has been spilled already in Quezon City okay. during the demolitions. But you see, when you're able to sanitize all this in the media, because you control the media, then there will, there, the, the supposed uproar go, goes up like a puff of smoke. Yan ang no, no, but, but all these things you're saying, you're being taxed left and right, yung mga squatter, did you demolish yung mga bahay, ganyan. I mean, kahit na hindi mo naman mababasa sa media to, nararamdaman mo to eh. How come walang galit? I don't, I'm, I'm wondering, well, walang, asan yung well, When we try to organize, mm -hmm. you get forums, you invite the, the, the <coughs> officials and they don't show up, you know, because they know that without them, there's no, walang mangyayari. Para kang you threw a party and nobody came. So, yan ang nangyayari, they just ignore you. Now, Quezon City people, probably, they are comfortable with their money being taken. And then the, the poor people, uh, once you throw them into to Rizal, they can't come down. It costs 30, 40 pesos just to get back into town. And then to go back to their places, it's very difficult. They'll, they'll end up sleeping in the streets. Mm. Yan ang nangyayari. Mm. Mm. Andy. Yung tanong na bakit walang parang walang nag-iingan, meron. Pero hindi nila lang kung sinong pagkakatiwalaan. Yeah, that's another thing. Yung una, kasi marami na rin tumaya eh. Pero they end up what? Na, na prostrate sila. Yung mga kasama kong urban poor ngayon, tumaya kay Bistek. Pero after ng election... Thinking na he would bring some sort oh, yes, of change. So, kaya lang, they found out na hindi rin makagalaw si Bistek dahil yung pinaliwanag ni... Ano, ni kontrolado ni pa rin kontrolado ng dating rimen oh, yung, yung mga tao. So kaliwat kanan pa din. The mere fact na kailangan pa niya mag-raise ng sarili niyang pera just to, 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 to fund his ano, uh, mga project na Bistek bills. Ano. So, hindi nila matapos pang lapiling nila, parang helpless sila, wala silang kakayahan. Hirap na hirap silang kumilos. Mahirap na nga sila, pinahirapan pa sila. Tapos, ginagamit yung kahirapan na yan para i-divide and rule sila. Yun yung talagang sitwasyon. Pangalawa, <coughs> ang pinakatingin ko, ang pinakakulprit dyan mismo, media. Okay. Kasi tumakbo ko noong 2007 eh. Okay, A ano po yung oh, tinakbo niyong pwesto? Walang kalaban si Belmonte nun eh. Oh. A fourth district also? No, no, no Quezon, Quezon City. City. Okay, 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 Quezon City. Oh, was the mayor? Oh. Kasi nga, bakit tama, 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 tama. ng daming issue? Ito nga lang eh, panayang labas ng budget, wala ng mga approved development plan. Yun ang main issue ko eh. 
Hindi kayo pwedeng gumamit ng pera nang walang plano, na hindi aprobado ng konseho. Pero sasabihin naman ni, oh. ni dating Mayor Belmonte, ang nakita mo yung mga building dito, yung mga daan, oh. ganyan, Pero yan, like, like yung mga central oh. business districts niya, mga Taipans, mga mga developers ang nagpupondo dyan. It's not for the dyan. Quezon City people. May question pa nga dyan eh, dapat yung 20% balance housing eh, yes. sa Ur Urban Development and Housing Act. Na sinasabi doon, kung sino yung actual occupants yan, they have the right to own the 20% of the total property. So, kahit alisin mo sila dyan, meron silang 20%. Meron pa silang 20%. Na lilipatan nila, dapat libre na kung tutuusin. Yes, yes. So, maraming, marami talagang mga batas talagang tinatakpan. At ako, sisisihin ko dyan talaga, siguro media rin eh. Bakit media rin talaga. Kasi, una, hindi articulate yung masa siguro. Hmm. Ano, kulang sa mga write-ups, etc. Eh, alam mo naman ngayon eh, hindi ka naman makakapasok basta-basta. Buti nga may GNN. Hmm. Hindi kasi, di ba? Alam mo, lahat po sinasabi niyo na may 3 billion yung mayor, yung mga hmm. konsyal, 40 hmm. million. Ngayon ko lang naririnig to. Oh, eh, oh. Ito naman ho, hindi naman ito chismis eh. Galing sa kanila itong dokumento. Official documents eh. talaga. Yes. Official yes. documents ito. Kahit saan oh. tayo umabot na ito eh. Oh. Gusto ko nga, demanda na nila ako eh. Para lumabas na. Para lumabas na ito eh. Pero lalabas ba sa dyaryo pag dinimanda ako? Oh, hindi. Yun nga problema eh. Na lang. Yeah. Diba? Yeah. Yun nga problema. Tapos sabihin nila, ba't di ka natatakot? Baka patayin ka nila. Yun naman. Sino naman lang hindi mamamatay sa atin? At saka ba't ako matatakot? Kami yung nasa tama. Sila dapat ang matakot. Sila mali. Silang gumagasos ng pera ng bayan eh. Oh. Now, diba? ito naman, ano, um, sasabihin naman ating mga marunod ngayon, um, anong, anong, anong relevance na to sa atin? Parang sasabihin nila, Quezon City yan eh. Kami naman, taga well, Makati, taga Makati. Is, Makati. Oh, what happens in the micro, <laughs> happens in the macro. Okay. If you trace our, our steps back to 2000 in Uh, 2001, yeah. when uh, ERA was removed, the first thing they did was they passed Ipira law. the Ipira law. Who passed the Ipira law? That, the Congress, headed by Congressman Belmonte, the Speaker of the House. Okay. That was the one where Congressman Magtubo came out saying that they were being given 500,000 pesos each to pass that Ipira law. At that time, we were the ones there at the corner of uh, Camias and EDSA <coughs> with our calderos pounding protesting against it. That okay. was the first time. Okay. Now, the Epiro promised to lower our rates, Secure to pay power, it. affordable power, reliable affordable power, etc., etc. Pay yeah. for the debts of oh. Napocor, the IPPs. Oh. Twelve years later, they're Balik still into debt. <laughs> our, our electricity has doubled, so for every 1,000 pesos that you're paying, 500 of, of that happened because of the Epiro law. So if you're paying 10, uh, no, 1,000 pesos lang sa mga mamamayan, in the last 12 years, 72,000 na ang binayad. Ang, ang bin, nawala dahil sa Epira. Dapat nasa bulsa mo yun. Oh. Now, alam mo, like many consumers, I also pay, ako rin ay nagbabayad ng ating uh, very exorbitant, exorbitant. Yes. Mm. Uh, It's the number one con, uh, co complaint about investors oh. yes. that we have power. the highest power. It's true. I mean, yung mga ibang mga kaibigan ko sa, ano, sa, sa ibang bansa, yung nga sinasabi, pagpunta dito, ang mahal ng kurinti. Ah, Part of the problem is, ako, guilty as charged, pag dumarating yung Meralco bill sa akin, hindi ko na binabasa. Basta, o oh, ito yung bill, ito yung, ito yung sum, eh di, syempre, bayar mo, ano, mapabutulan ka. Yes. Di ba? So, uh, Andy, meron ko pang slide na pwede pakita sa akin. Ayan, sige. Ito yung typical Meralco meter. No? Power meter. Oh, Ayan, sige, okay. tingnan natin, ha? Yes, sir. Ayan, oh, so, ito yung ating... typical bill ng Meralco. Okay, okay. Yung Ayan mga na. binabayaran natin dyan, mga, yeah, meron tayong transmission, yung base dito ah, okay. tinubi ito 9.11 percent. Okay. Meron tayong systems loss. Yan yung mga nag, ano yun? Nag yung, uh, jumper. 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 <laughs> jumper. <laughs> yung mga oh, jumper. Binabayaran, okay. binabayaran natin yan. Okay. O, ito, subsidies. Oh, ano naman yung subsidies yan? Ay, hindi ko alam. Para sa Rockwell. Hindi ko alam kung sino. Ito na, ito na. Ito na, ito na. Kung sino sino subsidies nila dyan. Ito maganda, universal charge, yung mga alien. Okay, universal charges. Yung mga alien. Okay. Na umana dyan. Tapos ito, meron ka pang, yan, total yan, 16.5%. Ngayon, ang alam ko nagbabayad ng tax na ang Meralco, and yet, sumisingil pa rin sa atin ng government tax na 9.8%. Teka lang, teka lang. Same sabihin, okay. Itong government taxes, I can see it below, ayan o. Uh, 9.28. Alam mo, I, 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 I said, guilty as charging. Ngayon ko lang, ngayon ko lang binibigay yung pansin itong mga ito. So, <laughs> Laki nga na. You know, and, and the last one, government taxes. Bakit po tayo nagbabayad ng government taxes na 9.28%? E eh, tayo yung consumer. Di ba tayo nagbabayad sa Meralco? Di ba, di ba dapat sila yung magbayad? Dapat yan, ano, tanggalin din sa tax natin. Oo. Parang naging withholding tax tuloy bigla eh. Mm. Di ba parang baliktad nga eh. Talaga, hindi ko, ako hindi ko talaga mahinti na why do, bakit tayo kailangan magbayad ng tax sa gobyerno. So, Samantalang bin, binayaran natin, Meralco, dun sa binili natin. 12 years yes. na nang nangyayari yes. sa atin yan. So, yes. we, it hasn't worked. Period. Or are we going to allow ourselves to continue living this, this way? Di ba? Na 
half ng binabayaran natin plus look at the effect ever since they imposed the epira law everything grew so for every 100 pesos you earn ang value niyan mas maliit baka 60 pesos na lang ang value ng mm. 100 pesos market kasi everything grew kunyari yung yung bottled water mo na tig 10 piso dapat pala 6 pesos yan so across the board everything yeah. you're spending affects everything because it's power it's, yeah. it's a cost. It's a yeah. cost that goes to manufacturing, yung, to business. So yung sinasabi na minimum wage, mm. in the last 12 years, kung hindi na pasa yung epira, baka, baka lang, people would have been able to live within their means. Mm. Baka naka-savings pa sila, napaaral yung mga bata, nakabili ng medisina para sa may sakit, naka-down payment sa bahay. A lot of dreams were shattered oh, oh, wow. because of the epira. Single law. legislation. Ha? Now, yeah. okay. Let's talk about the relevance to Ken City because uh, Han, as, Han, as Han said, yeah, this was passed during the term, uh, during the tenure, the watch of uh, then yeah. Speaker of the House. Uh, That's one law you're Bill looking Monte. at. Okay. Uh, look at another one. Very short lang, the RH law. Okay. The RH law was first made a city ordinance in Quezon City and then now it's a national bill. Okay. Now, this, this thing is nothing but another money maker. They're going to bring in all the medicine and Quezon City is the only city in the, no there are two cities so big is the only are the only cities prepared to accept that 8 billion to benefit from the 8 billion that they're going to spend on on the pills and the, because you cannot why is that how come Quezon City and Subic are the only two places in the country na handa well, okay what, what do you mean by they're ready to accept all the because they already have in place city ordinances so it's either the city or the congressman okay okay uh, who is the speaker now you, you, you will control ov over all these congressmen. Yes, yes. See, yes. there are 200 plus of them, and the ones willing to, to purchase all this and distribute it. And then you take care of your city as well, because pati konzihal, pwede nang bumili. Yes. Yan ang mangyayari yan. Itong si Andy, may binubulat lahat na mga mapeles. Ito yung ginagawa niya. Ako, interesting. Kasi, Andy, buddy, as early as 2005, meron silang resolution ng Quezon City supporting the RH bill. City ordinance, a city resolution. Si Mayor Belmonte pa to. Galing ah. Si Mayor Belmonte. Handang handa yung KCP. That's why the LR guys are better. Handang handa sila. Handang handa sila pa. City na 2005. 2001 siya mayor eh. Second term yan, nagpasa po sila ng resolution. Supporting the RH bill. Pero sasabihin naman nila eh. Napaka forward thinking naman na ating mga 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 Tapos ito, hindi na din na sila siya. Nagpasa na sila ng RH ordinance. Nauna pa. Nauna pa, 2008. Kasi 2010 pa sila nag... Ang sinasabi lang naman natin dito, ang, ang talagang founder ng Team Patay ay taga Quezon City. Hindi lang sa founder ng Team Patay, ama pa siya ng dynasty. Hmm. Right diba? now, puro the, Belmonte na eh. With, without yeah, the elections, yeah. there's already one Belmonte in the first district dahil walang kalaban, si Kit Belmonte. The daughter is running for election, vice, vice mayor. And then you have countless Belmontes running for councillors. Pero, you know, Hans, <coughs> and the people are going to say, eh, okay, so what's new, Philippines? I mean, lahat naman dito, yung congressman, pag umalit, because asawa, papalit, anak, that's, papalit. That's the, the same, at, that's oh. the attitude that's causing this country to grow, go down the drain. Nobody cares. People ask, why aren't you campaigning? Look, the ve very fact that I filed is to show that I'm still here fighting. But I'm not gonna fight this without you guys. Yan ang sinasabi ko. Diba? True. Kilala nyo na ako. Tatlong pangatlong beses na namin. Kinalaban na rin niya. Kinalaban ko rin yung kaibigan niya, si Nanette Dasa noon. Oh. So, but you know, we're doing it the right way. We're not using your money. You yes, so, yes. wala kaming utang sa mga, sa pe, ano, wala kaming utang sa pinag-utangan namin, yung mga nag-fund sa amin. Ang utang namin na sa tao. Yan ang, because we want to do good for the city. It's the most prosperous city in the country and now it controls the country. Bakit? And that thing Tauhan is now whispering into the president's ear. See, the executive, yeah, executive secretary, secretary. Who was also in the case we filed because 500 million yata ang uh, inano namin doon. I think Mr. Cho used to be his administrator. I yes, think he was city administrator. City administrator. Attorney Cho. Yeah. Si, si Jojo. <coughs> and, yeah. their, and their, what they call this, their friendship and their friends, the, <coughs> the real estate companies that, are, that they are associated with, are the ones who are benefiting probably from that 6.5. Yan ang sinasabi sa amin. Kaya dumami yung mga banko nila. Yes, yes. See? So what do we have to look for in the forward to the future? We're looking at Chacha now. Yeah. So that they can sell, they can, what you call this, they can... Uh, Invite the investors. So into 100% uh, in na yan. Ownership of land, sure. Ownership of land. And whose land are they going to be selling? Hindi ba yung kanila? Sa grupo nila? Malaking ano eh, malaking pero how much is enough, you know? Dapat... Ang, ang isang down. problema dyan, buddy, 
gusto nilang buksan yung economic provisions to let the foreigners sure. own 100 percent. Sabi nila, it'll make us more competitive. Correct. It'll And, you know, in. investment, mas sure. kami, etc. Sure. Ang tanong namin ni Hans, naalala namin kasi, nagpautang tayong 1 billion dollars sa, sa, sa Greece. At meron tayong nakapark na around 80 billion dollars sa Central sa, ano, Bank. Central Bank sa special deposit accounts. Why, why don't we develop <laughs> this country? <laughs> we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't need the foreigners. Yeah. We have the money. We're bailing out countries like yeah. Greece. Yeah. Why don't yeah. we look yeah. for our own oil? Why don't we make put up our own power plants? We don't need anyone. We have the money behind yeah. us. Yeah. But, but, but gentlemen, I mean, <coughs> I, mean, sure, I mean, clearly there's really a lot of issues, and some of these issues are, are national in, in, yeah. in scope. But let's go back to Quezon City. Yeah. How will change in Quezon City change all of these things, uh, address all of these grievances that you okay. gentlemen are bringing up? Kami ngayon, ang pinag-uusapan na namin yung post-election. Okay. Kasi it's in the law that after election, within 60 days, the local special bodies must be reconstituted. What is this local develop? What is local special bodies? What are the local special okay. bodies? One of the most important local special bodies ay yung tinatawag nating local development council. Where 25% of the fully constituted body represents the people through their respective organization. The, the mandate of that body is, number one, to formulate a comprehensive multi-sectoral development plan. Okay. The plan that came from the respective barangay development plan, sure. prepared sure. by the barangay and the sure. people themselves. Sure. That's, a, that's one. Para responsive to the needs. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then, after preparing the, the local development plan by the local development council, it has to be submitted to the local council for approval. Okay. Then the council will, you know, uh, conduct public hearing, ta, ta, ta. And then, after approving it, forward it to the mayor, for budgeting, okay. then execution back, back, to, back the to the council to see to it that they, they, they funded the, 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 the program that they approved. Okay. And then after they approve it, then back to the executive uh, department for, for, uh, for implementation. implementation. That's supposed to be supposed to be the process. Hindi pa nahinto doon. The people must, you know, in the implementation process, they have to monitor it to ensure that the specifications of the projects are all uh, ano, uh, uh, implemented. Sure. So that should be the process. Dapat. They're not doing it eh. Yeah. Kaya hindi natin alam. Bagong semento pa lang, binabakbak na yung kabila. Ganun Nakakita ka ng ganun, yes. buddy. Yes, I mean, um, diba? dito sa Pilipinas. <laughs> <laughs> At, mainit pare. Oh. This is personal already. Ah. Okay. Tanong mo sa kanya. There's a counselor who lives in our streets, in Manila. Yung kalye namin, kung saan ang bahay ko, yung kabilang kalye, cementado, ah, uh, <laughs> Bagong aspalto. Yung kabila, bagong aspalto. Sa amin talaga, <laughs> pare, hindi na ayaw. Pinapatsipat. It's taken, ka uh, it's taken <laughs> personally already. Because we're talking the truth. Mm. Now, he's talking about Quezon City, I'm talking about the nation. It's about time we stop, we recall first, we review, and then we refund. We, we refund. Alam mo, yung, yung sad dito is because, you know, this administration, President Aquino's mantra has been daang matawid. Yes. Uh, maganda yun eh. Maganda mm, yung straight yeah. path. Ako, sangayin 100%, mm, 200%, mm. sangayin ako sa daang matawid. Bakit yung ibang allies niya, bakit parang, hindi, at dito mismo sa kapital natin, I mean, in, in Metro Manila, in the former capital, Metro Manila, Quezon City, parang mukhang, according to what you guys are saying, mukhang hindi nasusunod mm. itong daang matawid. Totoo. Nobody's taking things seriously anymore. <coughs> I mean, I was just telling Andy, uh, even the endorsers are just endorsing for the case of money. <coughs> I, I told him, this guy, Ding Dong Dantes, comes out heavily on television holding the congressman of Buhay, you know? Pro-life. Pro-life. Pro Pro-life. Pro Pro believe ako sa'yo, sabi niya ganun. Uh, Tapos Dantes, next thing, Dantes, he's uh. talking to Lisa. Si Lisa, okay, we ganun oh. siya. Well, I mean, this should set us all on. We, this <laughs> issue divided the country months ago, hindi ba? Oh. Oh. So divided. And here is this guy, si Guapo, <laughs> he uses his influence oh. na... Sa pro-life pro -life uh, movement, oh, doon naman siya sa ano, kapila. Baka tatakbo yan eh, yan ang inisip ko. Pero that, that's a bad reflection of you know, the, the society right now. When the guy who's supposed to be endorsing, you're looking at him because he's a successful actor, guwapo naman siya, kabataan, tapos, kabataan uh, and then all of the sudden, wala siyang prinsipyo. Pera-pera na lang lahat ito. Hindi ba? Baka naman yes, volunteer yes. lang. Ha? Baka volunteer. Mas kina eh. Baka pro bono. Baka pro bono. conviction. Kung hindi siya binayaran ng talent fee. Conviction. Yan ang conviction. Mas mabigat pala. Oh, pro bono. Pro bono pala siya. But it's a, it's a bad one. Grabe, People nandaro. don't care anymore. I mean, uh, you know, we shouldn't be doing these things anymore. We've been fighting for the last, what, 15 years. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. And it's just that we're hoping that the people will come and, and help this so, time. Ito si Andy, help I, themselves. I'm, I'm, I have a question to ask you. Itong, itong election, meron nga tayong tatlong baso dito. May Team Pinoy, may Una, tapos may ano to. 
yung kay JC to kapitira kapatiran kay JC to diba dela sorry okay so i have a question and you're very in touch with urban poor are you optimistic are itong itong election ba natin ay optimistic kayo na magkakaroon ng change ngayon hindi ang lungkot naman eh kasi wala namang nabago sa sistema eh gastos din imagine mo lang bawal yung magdikit kun saan saan nandiyan pa rin magkano yan magkano yung airtime mahal ang mahal ang nagiging election so paano babawihin niya sa pondo uli ng bayan So, paano magkakaroon ng pagbabago? Hindi, pero kayo like now, okay? Diba? Nakasot kayong dilaw. Alam mo, tuwing nakakita ko ang dilaw, na naalala ko si President Pinoy. Kaya lang nakadilaw. Eh. Ako nakaputi. Hindi, <laughs> naalala ko si ako. President Pinoy, eh, yung, yung, yung dang matuwid. Eh. So, parang how do you reconcile that na ating Presidente, who's supposed to be the leader of the nation, eh, siya may force talaga, may moral force siya. Right. Very popular. How can you reconcile that, that dang matuwid is not somehow not being not being actually carried out on the ground where it counts. At the moment, we can't. That's why we're, we're voicing, we're, we're, we're bringing this out. Start from where it all the shit comes from. It's Quezon Oops. City. I, I, I mean, uh, unfortunately, we can bleep that, but... <laughs> <laughs> It's Quezon yeah, City. Yeah. Diyan yeah. talaga nang gagaling yeah. at this time. No, but See? how can change again Quezon City? Okay. Start as a nucleus to change. All right. Meron tayong eksperimentong ginawa. We started with the sector, which is the urban poor. Okay. We call it sectoral primaries. Tayo boboto, dapat tayo pipili ng kandidato. Hindi yung darating nila bigla, ako ang inyong hero. Hindi ganun. Yung butante dapat manggaling sa tao. We call it primary system. Wala, sa US, alam nyo na yan. Primary, eh. so primary. Ito naman, dahil wala, sectoral. And then, mag-extend kami niya sa barangay election. We're preparing now the ground for this process we call people's primaries. But before calling for a people's primaries, we have to first know what really is the situation of our barangay at anong dapat natin gawin, then agree on that. Then based on the agreement, ito yung ating plano, etc. Sino yung pwede mag-implement? Then we go to the second step. We call it people's primaries. Then, bago mag-election, buo na. Oh. Hopefully, wala nang, wala nang kampanyahan, buo na. But so, I mean, it sounds like a great plan, and I'm yeah. with it 100%, again, 100% yeah. supportive. Pero when it comes to real, realistically applying this sa ating banta, mm -hmm. pwede ba ito realistically? Well, ba? you have to start somewhere. Guess, diba? yeah. Una, number one, huwag ka mawala ng pag-asa. Sure. Sure. Dahil... Jay din na kasi kami ni Hans. Yeah. Kaya nakagawa yung mukha niya, Jay din na kami ni Hans. Wala sa akin. Una, ang tanong kasi dyan, ba't mo ginagawa? Hindi na ito para sa akin kung ginagawa ko ito. Mayaman na ako kung gusto ko lang. Pero ganyang yaman ba gusto ko? Hindi mo diba? madadala yun eh. Oh. Correct. Oo. Oh. Kaya nga ako hindi naman ako. <laughs> wala naman yan eh. Diba? So, pero kapag ito ba isa, buddy, pag may... Pag mayroong kanya-kanyang calling, ika nga eh. Pag may, may pinapagawa sa'yo, huwag mong tanggihan. Kasi yeah. pag tinanggihan mo, hindi ka mapapalagay sa sarili mo. Yeah. Kalaban mo mismo sarili mo. Ito, ito masaya naman ako sa ginagawa ko eh. Nabibless naman yung mga tao. At tingin ko, uh, kahit anong dilim ng paligid, at merong isang liwanag na nagtsatsagang mabuhay, yan ang unang makikita at yun ang unang pag-asa. Talagang kinikilabutan ako sa'yo. Kung baga, Talagang, buddy, very yung, inspiring to see. Yung, yung, oh, yeah. yung, 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 work together yung dilim time. kasi, kita mo yung dilim, pero kapag ka, nilagyan mo ng liwanag yan, yan, pero yung dilim, hindi niya kayang lagyan ng dilim yung liwanag. Yung liwanag. Pero yung liwanag, kaya mong lagyan ng, ay, yung dilim, kaya mong lagyan ng liwanag. Guys, we have about one minute before we have to end the show, unfortunately, but we're gonna have you guys again for sure. Uh, last words, Hans, quickly. Yeah, yeah now that people know the reality, because it takes people like us to bring it out, you're not living in a dream anymore, so you've got to be more involved in what goes on in, in, in government. Hindi lang basta dahil kaibigan. Some of your friends are affecting other people. Because uh, I'm talking to a lot of my friends about this. They asked me why I wasn't campaigning. They already know me. It's just to get the message across about what's going on in society right now. So hopefully, we're telling you it's happening in Quezon City. If you want, if you, if there's a big issue, talk to your friends in Quezon City. Diyan pala nag-uumpisa yan. Help, campaign with us, campaign with us, because we want to change. Let's stop it first, and then let's review. Let's see what's going on. And then, pag na naayos na natin, baka may refunds pa tayo. Malaki yan. Malaki yan. Andy, quickly. Ah, sa akin lang, ano, tapos na yung May 13 sa akin. Ang pag-usapan natin, pagkatapos ng eleksyon, anong gagawin natin, meron pa ho. Tayo ay may say kung saan mapupunta yung pera ng bayan. Kasali tayo sa pagbubuo ng una pag-identify anong problema talaga, magpaplano tayo based sa problema, at tayo mismo magpapatupad niyan. Yan ang mandato ng batas lalo sa local government unit. Huwag nating pabayaan na after election mag walay tayo. Hindi. Nag-uumpisa pa lang po yung trabaho natin. Yung mga sinabi nila sa entablado, singilin natin. Yeah. At may proseso po yan. Yung tinatawag nating local development council at iba pang special bodies. At sa mga lola, nako, suggestion ko po sa mga lola, sumali tayo sa PTA. Dahil isang araw, pag na-lift na po yung TRO ng RH, ituturo na po yung Kikai Kit na inisponsoran ng ano, USAID. Tuturo na lahat sa mga batang maliliit na pwede ng lahat nakakalungkot, buddy. Ba't mo expose sa ganyan yung mga bata ngayon? Yan yung resulta ng RH bill na hindi ho natin nabantayan ng tama. 
At ang utak po niyan, ang founder ng Team Patay, nasa Quezon City. Walang iba si Congressman Del Monte yan. Yes, sir. Kaya mag-iingat tayo, mga kapatid. Anyway, gentlemen, maraming salamat sa pagdalaw dito sa aming Philippines and Cut. And good luck lang sa atin lahat. And uh, we will have you, as I mentioned, we will deal Thank with the Piralo again. Yeah. And, uh, and I understand, meron tayong guest na dadalhin na, no, yeah. na magpaprovide ng magandang solusyon to our, our energy needs. Ha? Organic energy saving device. Organic energy saving device. Sabay bayan niyo po yun. So, yeah. I hope you learned a lot about uh, Quezon City this, uh, this uh, evening and also about the Piralo. Join us again next week here in the show where we talk about what matters to you guys because you guys matter the most. See you next week.